Now in the land of 10,000 lakes, there are tens of thousands of water skiers. This pastime celebrates a major milestone this weekend. It's water ski days along Lake Pepin in Lake City. The sport was invented there 100 years ago. A few summers ago, Mike Binkley shared the story of a daring teenager who was first to strap skis to his feet and glide across the water. Lake Pepin is really a wide spot in the Mississippi River. It's 24 miles of open water that inspired a fearless kid back in 1922. Some people referred to him as Crazy Sammy. Ralph Samuelson was 18 years old, stubborn and persistent, when he accomplished what no one had done before. He had skied in snow and, and thought it could be done in water. He did it with a couple of long, heavy, thick pieces of wood with leather from a harness shop to hold his feet. Very primitive, but it kept him above water. It came after several unsuccessful attempts with those pine boards fully beneath him underwater. Finally, he thought, well, I wonder if I brought the tips of the skis up out of the water, if I could get up. And after several tries on July 2nd, 1922, on a Sunday afternoon, Ralph Samuelson uh, got up on skis. He later performed the first ski jump from a greased up ramp on Lake Pepin. Then he became the first speed skier when a Northwest pilot pulled him behind his flying boat. Samuelson drew crowds of people to local festivals, but the world barely noticed until decades later. He really uh, kind of admitted years later that he, he just didn't understand what he had created. Uh, it was just something he wanted to do. Lake City was officially recognized as the birthplace of water skiing in 1966. That crazy Sammy is now a legend. We're pretty proud of Ralph Samuelson and, and being the birthplace of water skiing. Ralph Samuelson never applied for a patent for his invention and didn't make any money from it.